night. What a close election. You want to go straight to these battleground states, John Carl. We've been talking about the possibility. You just heard Nate Silver. They're looking at the betting market, starting to predict a Donald Trump uh, victory. They had not been doing that for several weeks, for several months. In fact, let's look at the paths that could get him there. I see two paths for a Donald Trump victory if he wins the state of Florida, and that is trending in that direction. So if you put Florida in his column and you assume he wins Ohio where he is up, Iowa, Arizona, North Carolina, places where he is up. Here's what he can do. The first thing he can do is win Nevada and New Hampshire. And that gets him to exactly 270. But again, George, it assumes he wins the second congressional district in Maine, which tells you why they were spending so much time there. But if, if two, we should say, though, but at 269, Donald Trump is probably still president. If it's 269, well. 269, it goes to the House of Representatives. The Republicans control the House. Uh, it's voted by state delegations. It's almost certain that they would choose a Republican president, Donald Trump, because he got to have run. So if you come back, if he, if he doesn't take New Hampshire and Nevada, he can take the state of Michigan. If he takes Michigan, he's at 276. Now, that said, both of these paths are difficult because there isn't that much vote yet in Michigan. Michigan is a state where he has not led a single public poll, but he's up right now in the raw vote, a little over a quarter uh, voted. The other uh, problem is that Nevada, Nevada has been a state again where the public polls were all trailing, you're all going against Trump coming into this election. What did the polls miss? Oh, they missed the surge.